first thing you need to do is set up your keyboard with the mini ports to connect it to the computer. One in and one out. This one is marked out and confusingly enough it has an arrow pointing in to the device the keyboard that is not the computer I have marked this with a red spot and corresponded it with a red spot on here because it will get confusing otherwise because ins and outs depend on which way you're looking at it so out of this one which is from the computer goes in to this one marked in on the keyboard the end of this is a USB plugs in straight to the computer simple as that so connect the keyboard to the computer and away you go the next step is to set up the software which should automatically detect it I'll show you how this happens in a minute so the other end of that lead I was showing you earlier is just a standard USB fits straight in to the computer. There's little lights on here which will flash when it's set up. So this is Ableton. It's a software program you can use what you want. This should basically work the same way. Plug the USB from the keyboard into the computer, it should automatically detect it. So what you end up with is pressing a key on here, comes out on the computer as a drum synth. That's a drum instrument which is converting the MIDI system, the MIDI signal coming from here to the output. So I've got some keys here, with different drums and that. One up here. Simple as that. Let's show you what it's like on the screen. So I've got into options, preferences on Ableton, and here I've pressed MIDI sync, and this is what shows up. I've turned all of these on. They're on yellow, and these are inputs and outputs. Everything's on. It should detect everything. Switch all of these on. And close it and you're away to go. You want to record something. You arm the track. That's the record button for that track. That's the MIDI track. These are two alternate views of the same thing. That's the track there. That's it armed. And then press the master record button up here. And it will play and record at the same time along the timeline, which you can see by switching views here. So when I press a key, it will register a MIDI signal on there as a note, which will play back as a drum effect, as defined down here. Easy as that. Good luck, chaps. I had a lot of trouble finding a video that would tell me how to do this. They were having to trawl through loads of nonsense and stuff I didn't need to know. I hope this is simple and clear enough. Leave a comment. Subscribe to my website, dcrossley.com, YouTube. My name is Spasticus. Thank you. Goodbye.